it's your girl Ebony Jean and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're a current subby, welcome back. As you can see, I have on no liner, no lashes. That is because we are going to be testing out the new Makeup Geek liners. I am so excited to have their full collection right here. Plus they've sent over a few more goodies I'm gonna show you later on in the video. So let's get started. If you've never heard of Makeup Geek before, they are an amazing brand. Makeup Geek is cruelty free, my favorite part. They are also affordable, my favorite part. And highly pigmented in products. My favorite part once again. <laughs> if you're wondering how pigmented they are, check out my eyeshadow. This is amazing. And it's from their Matrix Palettes. They just dropped this last year and they sent this to me um, in their PR package. So I'm very grateful for this. Also, I have on their blush right now. This is called Covet. It looks beautiful on deeper skin tones. So please go check out Makeup Geek. Follow them on Instagram. I am also an affiliate for them. So I want to thank them once again for this opportunity. And if you use my promo code on MakeupGeek.com, you will receive a discount off of any purchase. So I strongly encourage everyone to go check out their products. And they are perfect for new beginners. Like if you are just now getting in the know of uh, wearing makeup and you're looking for something that's very easy to wear and it's affordable, they are also sold at select target stores across the country but if you want that discount it only works on the website so go support your girl and makeup geek look at all of these pretties here are the liners and the card they've sent over so it comes in nine richly pigmented shades once again it's cruelty free they are valued at ten dollars and 89 cents each also it's easy to glide long wearing formula this is the white liner this is called ivory of course i'm going to swatch them on the back of my wrist so you guys can get a good visual of how they look on deeper skin tones and one thing about this liner it is not necessary to press down hard because it's very creamy and you don't want your product to break or to go to waste or anything like that so i'm gently coloring that this is the perfect liner, you know, to wear on your water lash line. All right, so let's try, let's try Midnight. So Midnight is more of a navy blue color. It's beautiful. Slate, which is a gray liner. Kind of like that pewter shade. how creamy these liners are like it is amazing next we're gonna try plumeria plumera i think that's how you pronounce it plumera beautiful you can never have too many black eyeliners and this one is going in my everyday makeup bag <laughs> so this is called obsidian next up we have espresso there's also a shade within their neutral matrix palette and it's called espresso yourself one of my absolute favorites but this liner has more of like a deep chocolate brown tint to it honestly it complements the chocolate wasted shade which is this right here i love that shade like i love browns i love neutrals so I'm gonna swatch that right here. Next is Royal, I love purple. Nude, and please do not judge my nails y'all, I need to go get them done. Finally, my favorite color in this entire collection. We have Ultramarine and it matches my room. <laughs> so I love this shade, it's gorgeous. That's the entire collection. Now I'm gonna pick out which one I wanna wear on my eyes. Since I hardly have any lashes, I've decided to just put on some black liner down here because it makes my eyes look more open and they've also sent over their extension effect mascara i have just a little bit like i have some baby lashes underneath here like they're just now growing back so 
I'm going to put on their extension effect mascara. So for this look, I'm just gonna keep my liner neutral. Since I have on a lot of eyeshadow, I don't wanna mess up anything. I'm gonna wear their mink lashes. This is Isabella, their 3D foam mink lashes. My first time wearing them too, and I haven't been nowhere, so this is like the perfect excuse. It just completes my look. It's super full, and I love them. They are full mink, and you can find these on the Makeup Geek website as well. Oh, let me show you guys the goodies they sent over. So, oh, I've been waiting on this pigment. Okay, so they have all types of stuff on MakeupGeek.com. So you have the chromatic pigments. I have Firefly. And then Utopia, Gargoyle. This is very easy to apply. All you have to do is dip your brush inside this hole right here and you can apply it wet or dry. So this is perfect. And I'll give you guys just a quick um, swatch of it. Beautiful, look at that. So all of the duochrome pigments have this hole right here. So that way it'll just be easier for you to grab the product instead of spilling it all over. This is probably my new favorite. So gorgeous. I love anything with gold and that looks beautiful against my skin tone. This is more of a pewter color, like that pewter gold, maybe bronzy, but we'll check it out in like two seconds. Oh, I like that. That is beautiful. Finally, we have Kaleidoscope. I love how that looks on my skin. All of these are gorgeous. Just some final thoughts. Don't forget to use my promo code on Makeup Geek's website. You will receive a discount off of any purchase, including the eyeliners, everything that I've shown you today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below, especially if you want to see more content. In my recent video, I've announced that I've applied to be a part of Sephora Squad. This is my third year in a row going after this incredible dream. It's a chance of a lifetime for beauty content creators to collaborate with different brands, have networking opportunities, all that good stuff, produce greater content, and this will take my beauty career to the next level. This is not a hobby for me. So I really want to do this for the alopecia community. The bald community in general is underrepresented throughout the beauty industry, and I'm working very hard to change that. I've submitted my application. They no longer want to hear from me. Sephora wants to hear from you guys. With that being said, I desperately need your help. Please uh, click on the link in my description box where it says Sephora testimonial. Tell Sephora why you think I deserve to be a part of their squad. You can be as brief or descriptive as you'd like. If I've inspired you, encouraged you, touched your life in any way, now is the time to let Sephora know that. The last day to submit testimonials is April 6th. So we are less than a week away and I need as many as possible because the more testimonials I get, the higher chances I'll have at becoming a finalist and I pray that I get it this time. So I need all of my subscribers, my followers, supporters to stand up right now, especially the alopecia community, the bald community in general. All right, I love you guys so much. God bless. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. See ya.